Well, Debbie, we spoke a while ago and not much has changed at school. Um, actually, very little. Um, we did go to ACAS. The school has refused to negotiate on the length of the school day, the, the length of the breaks um, and the structure of the school day. So basically, they refused to negotiate whilst we were negotiating. So as they said, we are where we are, it is what it is and we're still on the picket line. And Liam, you've come from Nottingham NUT. I'm from Nottingham NUT, yeah, Nottinghamshire. Is this something we've seen a lot with Torch Academy in Nottinghamshire? Yes, we've got uh, we've got lots of NUT members in Torch Academies and we see similar things there. But what's good here is the teachers have said, you know, enough is enough with this. And to, today on the picket line, what's great is that we've got students, parents, other trade unionists from the TUC, from other unions like the PCS and Unison here supporting us. And that's important. That shows you the sort of strength of feeling that exists about the way teachers and really students are being treated because you see a lot of students here saying that the nine period day doesn't work and they're quite right it doesn't work. How do we end this saga? The ending of the saga, I think Debbie's already said that, the ending of the saga is, is for Torch to come round and negotiate properly and to make some serious concessions in relation to that nine period day. That's the way it's got to be done because if they don't do that they're going to have an, a, an ongoing dispute. And uh, you know, we don't, you know, teachers don't take strike action unless they really feel very strongly about something and they're doing it in the interest of the students and, and as well as in the interest of their own mental health. And Debbie, we've had a few strikes already. Any more planned? We actually have a further 11 days of strike action planned over November and December. At the public meeting that the NUT organised for parents and stakeholders to attend, we had over 200 people there. And although they thought that 11 days might have an impact, of course, on their individual um, sons and daughters they were actually understanding of the reasons and when I asked that public meeting put your hands up if anybody agrees with this structure not one single hand went up so unanimous support unanimous support at that public meeting we are getting um, messages of support from schools and teachers parents and governors from across the county and Weston has said that she will be on the picket line with us in the near future any comment from Torch or from the school? Well, we've had we've had some kind of limited comment, but Torch are making their own public statements, implying that they're willing to negotiate. But we're not getting any real evidence of that. And as Debbie's already said, you know, the level of support and the, they can't ignore the parents. You know, that that's the that's the bottom line, and they're going to have to come to heel eventually in terms of negotiation because I don't think they've got anywhere to go on it.